Hi, everybody. So today we're not going to have a strength or skill. We're just going to do a workout, just like yesterday. So nice and simple on paper. Once again, that does not make it easy. The blue and the black today are basically the same. The only difference is a little bit more on the rep count on the black. 33 more reps for each movement. Uh, once again, on paper, it doesn't seem like a big deal. Just two little numbers, three and three. But that is a lot of burpees and a nice chunk of squats. So let's take a look at that. We're going to do 27 goblet squats and then 27 burpees. This is for the blue. Then 21, 21, then 15, 15, then 9, 9. So you do that rep count for each movement before you move on to the next rep count. And in the black, it's the same thing, but we're starting with that 33. So 33 goblet squats, 33 burpees, and then 27, 21, 15, 9. And then your total time will be your score. Let's take a look at these movements. So first off, we've got the goblet squat. I'm using a kettlebell here, which is traditionally what we use for the goblet squat. But obviously, if you don't have a kettlebell, use whatever you can. This is something that um, this movement allows you to pretty much use anything you can hold with two hands and hold in front of you. So anything with some weight, get creative with it and go as heavy as you'd like here. The movement you're going to keep the movement's a squat, but you're going to keep that that uh, weight close to your body, right up against your chest. Keep your elbows under the object the whole time. Try not to let them get behind you or out to the sides. You want to keep them underneath. What that does is keeps tension in that upper torso, and it will also hopefully keep you, your torso vertical. Uh, more so than if you get your elbows behind you, you're going to drop that object forward and your chest is going to drop, shoulders are going to drop, all that. But we're doing a squat, so we're looking for shoulder width, stance, toes pointed out, butt back and down. So our squat means that we are getting full depth. Hip crease drops below the top of the kneecap, and then we stand all the way back up, meaning we're going to get full hip and knee extension for the squat to finish. So all the way down, all the way up. And that's your goblet squat. The next movement is the burpee. Everyone loves burpees. We are still in the burpee challenge. Coming up on that thousand burpees. If you're not quite there yet, let's get a move on. The burpee, you start standing up. You drop to the floor. Chest must touch the floor. Then you jump to your feet. And you jump and clap. If you can't jump to your feet, you step to your feet. But you get to your feet. And what's important standard-wise here is that our chest touches the floor. Our feet do leave the floor when we jump. Our elbow... Our, uh, I'm sorry, hips and knees get fully extended when you jump, so no, no bent over burpees. And then you do clap with your hands over your head. Those are the standards. If any of it seems silly to you, do it anyway, because that's what we're asking you to do. So that's what we're going to do. And then we get it done for time, and that's our workout. Post your scores to be on the whiteboard. I will see you on Monday.